So it is Monday morning. I definitely did not want to get out of bed. I thought about a hundred excuses, but I'm so glad I just did it and got out of bed. I've been for a run, I've been for a swim, and I'm about to start my daily vlog um, for Frugal February. So if you haven't already subscribed, please make sure you do so that I can update you on all the lessons I'm learning, the wisdom and enlightenment I'm gaining. And most importantly, you get to see how much money I've managed to save by the end of February. Um, this morning when I was getting dressed, I realized I have no t-shirts. I've got t-shirts for the gym, which are like really old and falling apart, but no t-shirts just to wear with jeans. Um, anyway, I was, had to quickly return something in a shop and weirdly they're like, oh, you've got a $30 like gift note here. So I just managed to buy this new t-shirt, which cost me a total of $14. So. Um, and I was obviously not going to buy anything because it's Frugal February, but I was able to use the voucher. So Frugal February is deli delivering in manifesting March ways. The good news is I didn't spend any money today on food, lunch or coffees. I took lunch to work, I had coffee at home before I went to work and it felt great. The only thing that I did buy was this t-shirt for $14, so I get to put $6 in my tin. Also, the other good news, last week when I got that parking ticket, um, I think I've managed to recover the cost of that money to fund it because I realized I have been really stretching out the food in my fridge, making it last and cooking pretty economically. And I, what I would allocate for my grocery bill beyond my Marley Spoon um, meals, I barely touch. So that's pretty much gonna cover most of the parking fine that I got. I just now need to work out how to cover that medical bill when I got my skin checked. So I'm realizing another major benefit to Frugal February. Not only does it save you money, it saves you time. I had a really busy day and I desperately wanted to get to the gym and have a good workout. Um, but by the time I got through my mountain of work, it was just too late. I couldn't like didn't have time to sit in traffic and get there. So I went onto YouTube, looked up cardiovascular workouts, and I did a workout in my office, bouncing around. Um, I'm sure anyone that walked past my office um, would have thought I was potentially having some sort of um, fit. Um, and surprisingly, um, I'm someone who's incredibly uncoordinated. It wasn't too hard, and I burnt calories because I seriously burnt up a sweat and my inner thighs kind of um, hurt a bit. Anyway, so loving this new discovery. I'm now on my way to pick rock up from daycare and I'm going to grab some stuff from the um, supermarket. I'm still within my grocery budget but I've made a list of what I need to buy so and I'm not deviating from that list. No way. Okay, please excuse the um, laundromat behind me. My dryer is still broken and hopefully someone's coming to fix it under warranty tomorrow. Now I've just done my grocery shop, um, which is kind of my in-between shop for when we're not doing Marley Spoon. It's where I get to stock up on things we need to get us through for the rest of the month. I got it $10 under what I normally allocate for. There's a couple of things I did differently and um, I also managed to use this savings to help stock up on future things. One is I went into buying the pre-box Sultana snacks for Rocco. I went and um, just got these um, for him. That cost like this whole big bag that cost just $1.98. The other thing I bought was this quiche. Now admittedly this is a gourmet quiche, it was $17 which I thought was expensive. But I thought it was perfect for nights like tonight where I simply do not feel like cooking. And I will eat a quarter of this with a salad for dinner. Rocco will also probably eat a quarter of this. And then the other half um, I can have for lunch tomorrow. And Tom can also have for lunch tomorrow. So when you break it down per person, it's actually quite cost effective and just so easy to throw with a salad or, you know, or a potato salad or something like that. Um, now, another thing is, you know those yogurt pouches? that kids love and they often do them on special like five for eight dollars they are great but they i swear rocco just like swallows them like tic tacs because um i can some easily go through like twenty dollars worth of yoga pouches um in a very short period of time so i bought these now these are often on sale down to five dollars um that's a 720 gram tub this yogurt is so delicious and you can throw some yo um some frozen berries on top um, to help like thicken it up and make it bigger but 
um, that is so much more cost effective. Um, other little things I bought for healthy snacks, not really that cost effective. And unfortunately, I can't tell you how much this costs because my um, it, it shredded because something exploded in my um, grocery bag. But is these organic black rice crackers. Now, you can put a little bit of um, cream cheese on these or normal cheese or even some avocado. A really nice healthy snack for kids and they're organic and gluten free. And then the other thing I bought, now this is a bit different, is um, I got some cleaning vinegar. Now I follow this amazing girl called Rocket Science on Instagram and she's an incredible blogger and she's all about zero waste. She actually has a book coming out um, with the same publisher as me in I think June or July. Anyway, um, I saw on her Instagram the account the other day, she made her own cleaning products because she's also doing the Frugal February and the Thousand Dollar Project and it saved her a huge amount of money. And she said if you use 50% cleaning vinegar, 50% water, it actually acts as like a multifunctional cleaning product because I have glass cleaner, um, wood cleaner, like fabric cleaner. She said this will cover you for everything. Now this cost, I think if I remember correctly, just over $2. So I'm gonna test this out and see if this saves me money on cleaning products because cleaning products are incredibly expensive. Um, and also I like this because it, it's non-toxic. So I'm assuming it's better for the environment than some of the other stuff we put in our homes. And then um, the other final thing that I did was to help save money, um, it's Easter soon um, and Woolworths had an incredible special on Easter eggs. So to start st stockpiling for the Easter bunny, um, I have bought some chocolate eggs um, on sale, which I'm going to hide. And I'm not just hiding them from Rocco, I'm hiding them from myself. So even though I only saved $10 in doing this, um, I think I covered a lot of snacks, which will help for, hopefully get me through for the rest of the month and save me money in the long run, such as the cleaning products and stockpiling on Easter eggs already. All right, I'm gonna put this um, delicious looking um, Gruyere spinach and sun-dried tomato um, in the oven and start preparing for dinner. Oh, I forgot to add, I spent no money um, out of my weekly budget today, so that's another $20 I get to put in the money jar. Um, Frugal February challenge, last night at about 10.30, Tom decided to tell me that his brother and sister-in-law are coming to stay and we'll need to cook them dinner. Now, I have enough Marley spoons for Tom and I and Rocco, but definitely not enough to feed like five of us. So, and I've only got $10 left from my budget. Um, hmm, so I'm going to do um, a long roasted spaghetti bolognese for um, dinner for all of us. I managed to get um, which I already had in the freezer, um, two um, things of mince meat, um, which were $4 each, and there's two of them. So i am got basically $2 left. I'm going to try and do a, a delicious spaghetti bolognese using up things I've already got in my fridge um, and pantry at home and see if I can technically get it under $10. Um, Gotta love a um, last minute surprise um, guest for dinner, but I'm determined to see if I can make dinner for all of us and keep it under $10. Okay, so um, another manic day. Um, my days aren't quite normally like this. It's just because I'm in the middle of the publicity campaign for my book, The Thousand Dollar Project. I've had client meetings. Um, I've been on the phone. I've been on emails with clients. Um, I got my makeup done um, at Mac. I got shot with the Telegraph this morning. And I've just got a break in between shoots and meetings and clearing my emails. So I'm gonna go for a quick walk with the dogs and um, go stretch my $2 budget to see what ingredients I can buy that I can put into tonight's dinner, which is spaghetti bolognese for five people under $10. Wish me luck. Oh, and also I've discovered, well not discovered, I've liked them for ages actually, but these are protein balls from Boost Juice. Um, they are three for five dollars and they're a great chocolatey sweet snack, but quite healthy It's just full of like nuts and honey and coconut and I think even Nutella um, They're absolutely delicious and they have I think about 200 calories But a great snack if you're trying to avoid chocolate bars like I am right My little trip to the supermarket wasn't quite as frugal as I liked I only blew my budget by four dollars seventy though and what threw me over was the Parmesan, um, because it was the only type of Parmesan they had, it was already pre-shaved 
and $2.90. Normally I would just get this in the block from the deli section. So, um, and by the way, the meat I bought for $4 wasn't actually from Coles. My bad is actually from Woolworths and you can see it was $4. So I have two of those. Now to make this dinner as frugal as possible, I've got the um, mince roasting with one onion. The onion cost me 70 cents. I had all the herbs and obviously salt and pepper. I'm going to add one um, can of thick um, tomatoes, which have got garlic and basil already in that. Um, I've got my one and only brand that I buy for pasta, Barilla. And um, I've got a tiny bit of red, like cooking red wine. And I'm gonna basically just sear it and then pop it in the oven at 80 degrees until we're ready to eat it. And because Tom's um, brother and sister-in-law, they may be running late with traffic, I can just keep this in the oven for as long as possible. And the longer it's in there, the yummier it's going to taste. But I can still, if Franco is hungry and doesn't want to eat with us, I can pull out a little bit for him and cook some pasta. This is a, not obviously $10, but I think I've done pretty darn well if I don't say so myself. It's Thursday morning. I'm about to make myself um, a homemade coffee and this new ritual, um, I just love. It's something, it's been one of the best things that have come out of Frugal February. Now, on that note, I am actually going to be making at the end of Frugal February, when I count out how much money I've saved, I'm going to be sharing with you the things that I've learned from doing Frugal February. Because remember, for me, Frugal February this time wasn't about depriving myself or being mean. It was about opening myself up to um, learn new things, get a deeper understanding of my values, and kind of just see and be open to what the magic of Frugal February um, gives me. And I have to say, this time has been a beautiful experience with Frugal February. I've learned a lot and I can't wait to share with you. And every day I'm learning a new thing. So if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can find out what's going on. Better go Rocco, just woke up. <laughs>